What is going on everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that, but in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only Paid to Drive, and of course, Paid to Drive vlogs coming at you. Hope you're all having a great one. If you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you should definitely be subscribed to this channel with all notifications turned on. That's right, everybody. Um, definitely 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 subscribe and of course hit that like button it just lets youtube know i'm doing a good job and let's jump on into this so i've got an article here uh that was sent to me by jerry so everyone say thank you jerry newman jerry anybody know what that reference is from let me know down below all right so um Twin Cities DoorDash driver warns of scheme that lost him hundreds of dollars. A Twin Cities DoorDash driver is delivering a warning to others after an elaborate scheme to drain the earnings from his account. WCCO, which I'm not exactly sure what that means, uh, looked into why it took weeks for answers and a full refund and what the company says other drivers should watch for. Mark Lee of Forest Lake would make a couple of hundred dollars a week driving for DoorDash. I thought, hey, I have some extra time in the evenings, or if I have nothing going on on the weekends, I could have fun making a little extra money, or I could sit around watching TV, Lee said. He seemed happy with the setup until a phone call six weeks ago on a Sunday as he was picking up an order. A screenshot from that day shows the number appeared to be from DoorDash. They said, first off, just wanted to let you know that the person contacted us. It was, uh, she was, she was just trying out DoorDash for the first time, mistakenly put in the order, he said, talking about from the customer's perspective. Uh, that person told him they're refunding the customer the money and that they pay Lee half the fee, which is standard practice when an order is canceled. The caller then told him to click on a text to take him to the DoorDash site to get him paid. Now, that right there should be a huge red flag. DoorDash does not ever ask you to click on a link in order for you to get paid for a canceled order. The, the pay just goes into your account summary like it normally would. The caller then told him to click on a link to take him to the uh, DoorDash site to get him paid. I'm still not thinking that this is a scam at this point, Lee said. And for me, that would have been a red flag. A few steps later, a few steps later, and an email states his bank information was changed, only to later learn that his weekly earnings of $252 were wiped out. Days later, he got in touch with DoorDash. We, wanted to, we want to let you know that you were hacked on this. Make sure that you change your password, Lee said he recalled from that conversation. At first, he, he's told he will be refunded. After the, <laughs> after the 4th of July is all done, I still don't have the payment. So I called in again and they're like, we have no record of that call on Thursday and don't know what you're talking about, Lee said. When WCCO, I don't know what that means, started asking questions, a company spokesperson told us he'd be reimbursed. DoorDash takes the trust of our community very seriously and we're committed to the security of those we serve, a spokesperson said in a statement. Upon learning of the incident, we reached out to Mark to offer support and investigate the issue. We appreciate his patience as we ensure proper payment into the correct account. The company said it's implemented changes to secure their driver's accounts and for, pay and for payout changes, they established a two-factor authentic authentication code via SMS text. The code, uh, the code is then sent to the Dasher, including a warning to not share the code with anyone, including with DoorDash, and that Dashers are notified by email every time there's a new login to their account. I want to make sure that other drivers know, Lee said. Lee still isn't sure if he'll drive for DoorDash again, but he believes the company needs to do more to keep drivers' accounts in the right hands. Lee believes this particular scheme will target drivers on a Sunday since there is a lapse in payment and by the time drivers will notice the money is gone from their accounts the following week so first and foremost we've we've heard of similar um you know scams and things like that in the past but i'm just going to come right out with it if you are ever in a situation where someone supposedly from doordash says oh yeah we're going to send you a link click on that link i would question it right there and then 
I really would. And because DoorDash is the number one food delivery service in the United States, hackers are going to try and take advantage of drivers as much as they can. And they're definitely gonna try and prey on newer drivers. Now, I don't know how they're getting the, the information from the Dasher and all that stuff. I don't know how they're doing it. Uh, but obviously they have some sort of an avenue in order to be able to do so. So my best advice to all of you guys out there is please, please, please be very careful on what you click on and what information you share because more than likely it is a scam. It's more than likely a hacker trying to take your money. Now, good thing that he's only a part-time driver. Imagine what happens if it was a full-time driver. I'm just curious, out of everybody in the chat or the comments, are you a full-time driver or a part-time driver? Leave a comment down below. I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say about that. And if you guys ever wanna send me anything, an article, a question, a story, anything, send an email to paid to drive stories at gmail.com that's the best place to reach me or you can message me on the patreon app or the website patreon.com slash paid to drive link is in the description or in the pin top comment send me a message on there after you sign up and uh also uh what do you call it um I will give you guys shout outs in new videos, anyone who signs up on Patreon. So when you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. We got Samantha Michaels, Brian Pomeroy, Heidi Barnes, Joe Valerio, Kurt Paul, Lee Peacock, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreaux, Laura Love, Agus, Alan G. Van Horn, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Joyce Hine, Brian Richardson, Ginny Thomas, and of course, whoa, uh, John Bonacci, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and v v Valerie Brown. That's right, everybody. So sign up down below. Links in the description or in the pin top comment. And also, start saving money on your gas today with the free app for your smartphone called Get Upside. Link is in the description down below. Download it first, go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside, links in the description. Make sure to download it. And of course, uh, everybody, I'm not wearing one today, but get all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies over at paytodrivestore.com. Everything is on sale every day. Lots of different t-shirt designs, colors, sizes, all at paytodrivestore.com. Links down below. And if you made it to the end of this video, simply leave a comment saying end 403, end 403. Be sure to get started right now. Hit that free red subscribe button down below and turn on the notification bell. Set it to all so you're always notified when I post something new. And of course, if you could, hit that like button on your way out. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. And until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling and keep bustling. And we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs. Have a good one, everyone. Have a good one, everyone. See? Take care, drive safe, and we'll see you on the next one.